welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for coming on, bud. Nice to see you. Thanks I for having me. I miss you. The yeah, last couple times we talked was through yeah. Zoom. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, and now we're here. Thank you for being here in person. How are you? How's, how's the family? I'm good. Everybody's good. Kids are good. They're all almost grown. You know, we're uh, about to have our own little... Uh, yeah. You got your own squad. Empty nest, yeah. You are, really? No, well, not yet, but like, my, you know, my youngest is got some time. 12. So it's, it's right around the corner. It goes by fast. It's got years. You got years. She's already it. traveling the world, <laughs> racing horses, I mean, jumping horses and doing her you, thing. I, you sent me a photo here. Here's, look at this. How gorgeous. Yeah. Come on, how cute is that? That's well, a, of course, she picked the most expensive sport possible, but... <laughs> Did you try to talk her out of it or anything? No, she loves it. And, and she takes so much pride in the little stuff. She's at the barn every day, shoveling Taking poop. Care. And yeah, she's yeah. She's up before me. Look at she's this, got, look at this shot. It's unbelievable. This is Grace. Look at this. Yeah. But do you notice that she's looking at the photographer? She's not looking where she's supposed to be jumping. <laughs> yeah, she knows. She like literally she's knows like, where the Insta, photographer is. Insta, Insta, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, and how are the boys? Boys are good. I got them playing golf. That's an amazing thing. And now, you know, my wife can't tell me I can't go play. Yeah. I just say I'm going with the kids. Yes, yeah, daddy, 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 daddy's, daddy's trip. son time. It's a boy's, boys trip. trip. We just yeah. went to England and Ireland and played and hung out. And, I, I, yeah. that's, that must be amazing. No, I didn't give them any Guinness. They're 16 and 4. Don't, I didn't don't ask that. Imply that I, I didn't ask that question beer. at all. No. <laughs> 16 and 13, almost 14. Yeah, yet. I'm sure 16. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are, are, they, are they good at golf? Are they like their dad? They're better than me. They started young, so they were smart. You know, they like... Actually, they started, they were on punishment, so they could only play golf, which was good. That and was, then they actually started to like it, so now they're continuing to play. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Why yeah, not? Yeah. yeah. Put, them on, put them on lockdown and give them a club. Uh, I, I, I saw a, a photo of you and James Caan together here at a golf tournament, yeah. and he just passed away. This is you, James Caan, and Sylvester Stallone uh, at a charity. This is at an event. That I believe it was at Jimmy's event. Yeah, he threw an event every year at uh, El Cab. Um, what but was he like? What was James Conn like? The best. Just great. Yeah, right. The first time I worked with him, he goes, you know I'm a dream to work with, right? And then I literally called him the dream. <laughs> Is that right? Ever since, yeah. You know he, I'm a dream amazing. to work with. He's amazing. I got to spend some time with him uh, not too long ago, actually. We went to go and visit another friend. I went to his house, hung out, and then we realized we had another friend who's a dear friend of ours who was not well. So we kind of put Jimmy in the car. We went to see him, and we got to, yeah. He's a good guy, right? He's got a good... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it just puts things in perspective. I mean, life goes by so short, so anybody, you know, uh, people, friends getting older, reach out to them, tell them you love them, and yeah, yeah stay exactly. as close and connected as possible. Well, we're going to miss James Kai. Exactly, you should. Uh, I want to talk about your new movie, Me Time, mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, you know, Kevin Hart's a, he's a, he's a pal of the show, yeah. and I think you guys would be great together. Is this the first time you guys work together? It is. You know, we, he came, when we, we met long ago, and he was like, I want to work with you, I want to work with you. And so I was like, oh, cool, I can't wait. And I'd, like, send him all these different ideas. He passed on everything I sent him. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's he difficult. sends me difficult. a movie where I'm supporting him. Yeah. And then he's got me ass naked, excuse my language. He's got me in Daisy Dukes on a boat. I'm like, is the this supposed scene... to be funny, or are they just <laughs> making fun of me? But um, I think the first scene, you're naked in the first but scene. But it was, it was, yeah, in the very first scene in front of, like, you know, a crew of 200 people and another 100 extras, and I'm like, but I had sneakers on. There you go, that counts. I had some Travis Scott's on. That so counts that as good. something, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I heard that, uh, that you invited him to work out with you, and he refused, Kevin. Oh, he never showed up. <laughs> he he's so busy, he barely showed up to work. I mean, I was just yeah. looking at our text chain earlier, and it's like, I'm on my way, buddy. I'll be right there, run a five behind. I'm a five minutes behind, always, yeah. He's doing something. Yeah, it, which is amazing. I mean, he really kind of, you know, we started joking about it, about all the different things that we do outside of our primary business. Kevin Hart's the busiest man on earth. Yeah, but you know, it's, what I loved about him, and I love about you, and I love about Will Ferrell, is that guys are just genuinely nice guys who just genuinely like to make people laugh. Oh, and, yeah. you know, when you get into the snapping and going back and forth with Kevin, he'll start it. He'll say something to insult you, but then he'll say something after when you come back at him to make you feel bad. <laughs> He'll like, say something real nice. You go, hey, that's too nice. Really, he's really snick. He, he's he is slick. A he's pro. finessed. It. Yeah, he's he's finessed. It for uh, sure. Can you tell everyone what the movie's about and who you play? I play a guy named Huck Dembo, who's his best friend, who's never quite grown up. Kev plays the stay-at-home dad, who uh, his wife is finally like she's going on a job. She's taking the kids, so she's kind of encouraged him to go and have fun. Yeah. And I've never grown up. I'm hanging around with basically teenagers or kids half my age who, and uh, and I screw up his whole life. Everything that he has that's safe and comfortable gets destroyed by my craziness. Yeah. He's and, just trying uh, to get a little me time. 
Yes. And you destroy his life. Yes. And it's 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 quite fun and funny. I mean, it's it's it, because John Hamburg, who's fantastic, he wrote and directed it. He's just done this great job of really kind of making it entertaining for both kids and adults. Like there's lots of great adult humor in there, but yeah. kids don't quite get it. And then there's lots of great stuff for the kids as well. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart in Me Time. Take a look at this. Flick him. Don't flick him. You have to him. gently grasp. Cover his mouth and blow slow, steady breaths into his nostril. Uh, We're here, fools. Wait, wait. What? Stop, stop. I said, don't. I said, guys. Come on. Car, car, car. Go down. Hey, hey. I don't need to go down there. Wait. Oh, you got it from here? I got it. Oh, you idiot. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Busted! Mark Wahlberg, everybody, me time premieres on Netflix August 26th. Mark and I are playing a fun game when we come back. Stick around, everybody. Hey.